we wake Hear the birds and see the sun Side by side our fears are done Well, hello YouTube and all you people in the metaverse and beyond Well, she's come on a little bit more since the last time that uh, you saw her So all walls are insulated now Pretty much batten this side um, I've just got this side to do now, bear in mind, I'm not no DIY expert. Um, and this isn't a tutorial video on how to do it. This is just showing you the progression of the monkey camper and where we are with it now. Uh, what I'm finding is that uh, we seem to take two steps forward and three back. And you always got to try and think 10 steps ahead. So I'm learning all the time. I'm learning. But it's coming on. It's getting there. Um, I set myself the date of the ABR, which is uh, probably nearly two months away now. Um, it's not going to be finished, but we should be able to sleep in it and live in it for the four days that we're going to be at the ABR. I've just about finished refurbishing the roof rack, which is why I haven't done anything to the ceiling yet. I haven't cut an hole in the roof to put the fan in yet, because until I get that roof rack done and I can afford to buy the brackets, the point is me even going near it. So at the minute, I'm just concentrating the walls. I got the monkey bike in here the other day, marked it out. For the height of the bed like i say i'm just getting to grips with what i'm actually doing and i'm doing it with basic tools i don't actually own any really good electric tools i pretty much have one electric drill uh a hand saw and, and that's it and that's pretty much how i've got one i've got a jigsaw um so yeah so she's coming on we're getting there slowly but surely um luckily my lad um managed to source me a load of wood um off one of the jobs he was on they were just going to throw it away so uh, that was pretty good i did have to buy the stuff i've used for the battens i'm trying to utilize the um plywood for under the bed i'm going to carpet that um and then tongue and groove the rest of it but yeah she's coming on slowly but surely so i'm going to crack on for a bit and i'll bring you back I'm, I tend to be coming out here for a few hours every night when the weather's good um, just trying to get as much done as I can uh, like I say I'm uh, a jack of all trades master of none but I'll run you through what my pretty much my idea is um, this is pretty much uh, the height of what the bed's going to be and uh, it actually comes to about here uh, which is five and a half foot that's what i need the garage to be and at this height to be able to fit just move you around two monkey bikes into this space right here so yeah this is going to be the bed height i know what lot you're probably thinking there's a big gap behind there i'm actually going to put some more insulation in this gap yes i could have gone that way with the bed but because of the length of the monkey bikes which for little bikes i'll tell you what they're quite long they're just over five and a half foot in length a monkey bike from nose to tail and obviously i've got to fit two in um so yes i could have had the bent bed that way and, and probably utilize a bit more of that side of the van but i need the bed to hinge up 
so I'm not crawling on my hands and knees to try and get them under the bed. It also means I can have the bed a little bit lower. Um, so by hinging the bed, um, I can pretty much push the two monkey bikes on, strap them down and lower the bed back down. How I'm going to do this, how I'm going to do this, I'll still yet to work out. Um, it's pretty much, um, it will be this frame boxed off um, and then the bed will sit on these plimps and obviously a support beam across there uh, then make the actual bed frame itself slats hinged lifts up monkey bikes in that's the plan in a way so yeah it's a slow progress like i say i'm <laughs> working with a handsaw a drill um wood glue and screws um, I do have a jigsaw. I could, uh, I could absolutely kill for a mitre saw, but I just can't afford one. Like I say, this is a shoestring budget. Touch wood, we are going to have the perfect monkey bike camper. Perfect for us, anyway. Um, so the van's mechanically sound now. So the panels are ready to go on. Roof rack, ceiling fan. I can't do that till I finish the roof rack. I've got one more piece of the roof rack um, to finish sanding down, respraying um, before it goes up there. But yeah, it's coming on. And I've got to say, I am enjoying doing it. Just come out here for a few hours every night, um, cutting wood, screwing, gluing. Um, yeah, it's all good fun. I'm enjoying it. Um, what will the end result be? <laughs> Who knows? You got any uh, suggestions for how the bed should be? Let me know in the comments below. And it all costs bloody money, everything from carpet to glue to, oh, I can't, can't believe how much tongue and groove is. Uh, that's the next uh, big expense, I think. But uh, yeah, she's starting to come on. It will be a beautiful monkey camper once we've finished it. So as ever, thank you very much for joining me. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. You can uh, keep following this. These videos will be going out on a Wednesday night. And the riding videos of me and Buddy, we'll still be doing them at the weekends. Uh, but uh, yeah, as for the monkey camper, I'm not here to uh, teach anybody how to suck eggs. And I'm definitely not here as a tutorial. This is just me winging it. <laughs> you know, trying to get the best result for my money. Um, so yeah, if you haven't done so already, hit that subscribe button. Thank you very much. As ever, live your best life. Mm -hmm.